Our story begins on the fringes of civilization, where an agrarian fish folk society thrives under the umbrella of apathy and isolation. The fish folk here live in a society centered around agriculture. Technology hasn't advanced past the early medieval period, and the countryside is dotted by villages lit by various barons, lords, counts, etc. Of course, the society is quite stratified, with the upper class seeking to differ itself from the lower class due to an elitism present within them. Meanwhile, the low-class peasants work their backs off the fields, harvesting various crops such as rice, tea, and a plant that is native to the part of the continent that this particular society of fishfolk inhabit, Yenke. Yenke is a very strange sort of plant whose fruit contains a nutritious liquid, traditionally called oil, by the fishfolk due to how similar it looks to vegetable oil. The fruit, when harvested, has its oil traditionally extracted from it, boiled and then served as a soup, usually along with some other stuff inside the stew. It has a savory taste and is among the most popular of crops grown by the fish folk. It is so popular that their word for dinner, yen costa, is a compound that essentially means yen kirtain, due to the fact that the oil is traditionally eaten during the evening. Over time, the lower class, which comprises the overwhelming majority of the population, has grown discontent over their status as serfs working their backs off for the lords who supposedly protect them. All that it takes is one bad harvest for things to go south, and perhaps then will they be noticed by the outside world which they have isolated themselves from for so long. Thanks for watching. If you want to see all the sketches and the illustrations shown in this video, feel free to check out my Twitter.com. Otherwise, have a nice day.